Hey guys, I wanted to do an update today on my orchids before I get ready to move them outside into the greenhouse. Um, we'll start back here, I guess on this here corner. I've got some of my oncidiums back here. They're all doing really well. Got new growths coming up. So I'm real happy about that. And I have some Phalaenopsis. Right there is, I'll have to, I'll show it to you better from the other side. This is my um, face plant. I really love her. Look how big the baby's getting. She'll be happy to get outside too. Um, this is my Cymbidium. She is doing really well. Ooh. And there's her new new growth right here she's doing really well I really really like this plant I enjoy it a lot it reminds me so much of like a daylily outside or even a spider plant my ponytail palm is right here this is the plant that we just potted together uh, it is my god it went right out of my head Katante and she is doing really well she has another new growth right here so I'm very happy with that we get around my jungle here this is one of my philodendron vines this plant right here, this orchid, I really, really like her. It is a... Where's her tag? Neophenicia falcata times Papillonthe Therese. I really like this plant. It is like odd but a really really cool plant it kind of reminds me of a cactus then I have a little air plant in with her my cattleyas are doing really really good they do need to be repotted but as you can see that is a new growth right there and there is another one right there. And this is my um, Lelia Perparata. She's doing really well. She got roots galore under here. Fantastic little plant. I, I just love it. It looks like there's even a third new growth coming awesome here is my other cattleya she also is going to be needing to be put into a bigger basket let me slide over here there is her new growth look at those roots I'm getting ready to water today so they all need a drink here is my Oncidium Twinkle. She is just starting to bloom. I will show her to you again when she's all bloomed out. But I can smell just very faintly, just off that one bud. Mmm, it smells great. These are some carnivorous plants that I don't know if made it. One's a Venus flytrap and... Uh, this one was my Sarasota. I was just looking at her, but I'm going to put her in a heavier light and see what happens. Then I just have some more Phalaenopsis down here, and I have one over here. My kangaroo paw fern, my curly cactus. 
but right here, this is my Zygo. She is doing really well. This is her newest growth that she just put out. I got a little air plant, little baby air plants in there with her. And she has a, another growth right there. So I really like this plant. I would love to get another um, Zygo. I really like these plants and I like the way that they grow. And I, they do well for me. Those are just some little succulent starts. My other cat, Leah, this is my triple love. She, I mean, everywhere you look, she has new growths coming out. This is one of her newest. This is a new one. Um, trying to make sure I don't trip. I've got pots sitting on the floor. There's the new growth. There's the new growth. I thought there was a couple more. But this plant is just taken off. She will not need to be repotted. Not this year. I think she still is okay. Summertime may tell a different story. But I love my cat Liz. Uh This here is my Dendrobium Anasman. And it's doing pretty well. This is all her new growths that she grew over the winter. So I'm really hoping that she takes off. She also needs to be uh, repotted. Let's see, down here I have my original little Sherry Baby. It took a crap on me, but if you can see down in there... Let's see. Whoop. She has a new growth right there. So, huh, I don't know. We'll see. My other little Nepenthe, Nepenthes babies. They are doing great. My big, my big one is out in my living room. But they are doing really great. They have grown a lot for me over the winter. I love these plants. They are like super cool and I love the way that they grow and I love their little monkey cups whatever you call them but these have a lot this is all new growth up in here and then they've got more coming so yeah super super excited about that uh, another little philodendron. I got more philodendrons down here. Some more um, succulent starts. More philodendrons down here. And I have my baby uh, epiphyllum dendrobium orchid up here. She also needs to have some fresh medium. A little air plant hanging out up there above her. This is my big Sherry baby. She has done really, really well for me. She has, um, let's see if I can find it. There's a new growth. And then she had another one thought it might have been a different orchid. Oops, sorry guys. I can't look and see through the camera at the same time. <laughs> and then some more of my Oncidiums. They're doing pretty good. This one I almost lost and I still might. This is my Hilo Firecracker Sangria. I do not know what happened to this plant. Um, the only thing I can figure is I had her near this window and maybe a cold snap took out two of her um, bulbs. I don't know. I'm just really, really keeping my fingers crossed that she grows another one. 
There is my Vanda that I repotted in my wood coal in a pot. And she seems to be doing really well. Um, she's got, she grew this leaf over the winter. And now she's growing this here one. So I'm really, really hoping that she bloomed for me last year in, I think it was like July or maybe August. But she seems to be doing well in the pot so far. More philodendrons. This little sweetheart is still in bloom. And this is my, um, I can never remember the name, and Graycom. And she is doing really well. She has grown quite a bit for me this winter. Not a lot, a lot, but she has grown. And she's got some crazy ass roots going on. A little succulent plant back there. My deed plant. This is my um, dendrobium. Uh, oh lord. And I don't see a tag. But she's done, ooh, she's stuck. She's done really well through the winter for me. Um, she grew a little kiki. Nobly, dendrobium nobly. Uh, love something, it's a white and purple flower, gorgeous. But she grew this kiki, and then she grew this new shoot. And if I'm lucky, I will see blooms off of the stem this year. So far I'm not seeing any buds, but I'm sure once it gets warmer and stays that way. Another dendrobium, um, Kingianum. We won't even talk about my sacred fern. That is my, um, Alocasia. She went dormant, but I am seeing some life. She's got little nubs down here coming out in her bulbs. I just repotted her, so she will be doing pretty well. And more Phalaenopsis down here. And then over here, this is my Neophenicia Falcata. I don't know why I forgot her name. I might have to turn my light on over here. She has grown really, really good for me this winter. Look at all those crazy ass roots. I have her in Lucka Beads in this little basket and then sitting in this to help keep a little bit of moisture, but she has done really well for me. She seems to really like this south window behind a shear. Um, okay, let's start up. Because I get backwards and then I miss stuff. There's my crazy, I call it my duck cactus. Another little grandfather cactus back there. Here is my brassavola. Jiminy Cricket. It is doing pretty good. It has some new growth popping out. So, looking forward to that. This is one of my anthuriums. This here plant. I love this plant. She is losing some of her speckling because I have her in a deeper light. But those are her two new growths right there. There's the big one. And there is the little one. That is my Cicopsis Mendenhall. Really, really nice plant. I've really enjoyed that orchid too. She's grown well for me and she seems to be pretty happy where I had her for the winter. 
a little cactus back there. That was my loose neri. And then that is my angricus. And then I have a couple more dendrobiums back there. And then over here is my uh, Kingianum uh, Usate red coral. Um, I had some issues with this plant. She got um, spider mites. So some of the leaves are kind of messed up on her. But I did get rid of the spider mites and thank God and she's doing she's doing okay now. She's a pretty big girl. And then back there I have um some of my Phalaenopsis dendrobium. I do not do well with those those plants. I they hate me. And there's another one back there. That one's actually doing okay, but she threw me fits when I first got her, but she's got two new growths that have grown over the winter. Back there, another Dunfowl. <laughs> Not doing good. Dendrobium Kingianum, another one that I'm growing in my little coconut cup. I love it, and she seems to really like it. Uh, this here is my Neo... Uh, no... Not Neo. A lot of dusty eye dendrobium. It's done pretty well for me over the winter. She's got some new little shoots coming out. So I'm really happy with that. They will be glad to get watered today. See all the new little shoots coming? I love this plant. It is really a cool orchid. I like it. And then this one... I was very scared of this. See this here? I love this plant. Orchid. I think it's funky. And that's why I got it. Um, here is her name. Matrata. But this is a new root. That's a new root. That's a new root. She's getting some new growth right there, or, you know, a new root, but she has not clamped onto the fern wood yet, or fern root yet, so I don't know, but this here is new. That's a new leaf. I love this plant. Oh, it's funky. Funky, funky. Uh, this is my Harold Ripley. Uh, I forget the name. Harold Ripley. Harold Ripley. God, I need to rewrite my tags. You can't hardly read them. Maxillaria. I believe it says. This plant <clears throat> has given me issues. It grew good for me when it was outside, but as soon as I brought it in the house, it did okay for a little while. And then, I don't know, the leaves are yellowing. I'll repot her and see what's um, going on with it, but crazy. It's just what they do. <clears throat> Let's see your plant. This is my kryptonite. I really, really love this orchid. Um, it has done, let me move this. It has done really, really good for me. Uh, this is a new growth. She's got more. Look, you can see her roots down in here under the stone. If she had another... Oh, there it is. Now, I don't know. That could be um, 
a spike. But I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see. Wait and see. This is my little Belita back here. My little ground orchid. I repotted her. She's doing really well. She's about ready to go outside. Or at least out on the back porch. And then... This is my... Um, Gramatophyllum citrum orchid. And she has grown like gangbusters for me. This is a new growth. And she has... Oh, I missed it. She has another new growth right here. But... I got very unlucky with this plant. She got demolished by spider mites along with my dendrobium. And this, uh, kryptonite orchid also had it, but not as bad because they were sitting together. Um, she got it. She had a little bit of spider mite. But what I did was I just, I took everything in the bathroom and I put them down in the tub. I sprayed them down really good, drenched them, let that dry. And then as soon as they dry, I put a fan, I put a, I have like a small uh, clip fan. I put that in the bathroom, hit that, hit the fan with them after I sprayed them down. Um sprayed them down again, sprayed down my soil and everything really well too, hit the fan on them again, let them dry really good, and then um, I watered the base, let it sit. They stayed in my bathroom for like three days in my bathtub. It was kind of funny because my husband's like, I need to take a shower, what should I do with these things? I was like, just put them up on the bathroom sink. So every time we wanted to take a shower, we had to take them out of the bathtub, put them in the, put them on top of the bathroom sink, and then um, I think like the third day, I sprayed them down again. <coughs> Even though you know I was not seeing anything, I sprayed them down again, um, and then sprayed the medium down again really well. Hit them with a the fan again. <clears throat> let it dry and then um, they lived in my bathroom for like another I don't know two or three days and then I quarantined them on my dining room table which they were not getting a whole lot of light they were getting some light but then I inspected again and did not see anything so they come right back in here I just don't have the room for a quarantine area. I just don't. There's my bird nest fern. A couple of my violets. I need to repot those. Spider plant babies. But yeah, that is that is it on my orchids. Um, I'm getting ready here within a couple of weeks. I have another orchid that I'm just dying to have. I want to get uh, the Rinko Stylus. Um, I figured since I have pretty good luck with my Vanga, Vanga? Yeah, <laughs> my Vanga, my Vanda and my Angraecum, um, that I should not have any problem with getting a Rico Stylus. I don't know, I probably could be like 100% wrong, but I'm, I'm, want to get one. I'd like to get another Cattleya too because I seem to have really good luck with the Cattleyas. Um, and that my Dendrobiums do okay in my household environment. Um, it has really helped just having this whole room for nothing but my orchids. Of course, I got more in here than orchids. You know, I've got a few house plants here and there, but. Mostly it's just all of my orchids. Um, I did lose a few over 
the winter they were uh, seedling uh, oncidium so but I do okay with some of the oncidiums and others not but I grow everything in either um, river rock lava rock uh, I have a couple like these over here my kryptonite and my um oh I forgot the name of it already gramophyllum those are in bark and they will stay they will stay in bark which I have to get some more bark actually um but alright guys that is it and I will Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.